Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. So I thought I'd just do a little video on this. I'm just doing my, got my 3D printer here going and I'm just tweaking some settings. I thought I'd just do a little one minute mention on this. Now I was having issues with a imperfection down the center of the, of the item here. And I just tweaked my flow settings on the screen here, which I'll show you in a second. And that imperfection's gone away. It's now dead flat. So I thought I'd just try and show you that. Let's see how we go, trying to get this to work. So you can see the imperfection just there, in the middle. So a little line, and then it disappears. So you can see it's gone. And it's now dead flat. And I'll show you the setting I changed. I'm currently printing PLA. I use quite a high temperature. I find it just gives a better um, melt between the layers and gives a better adhesion and stuff like that. So I tend to use quite a high end temperature. Using lower ones I've had less success with. Anyway, so go into uh, tuning. You get, go right down and you've got this flow rate. Now I've got it set at 92 now. Now I've already got it set lower in the uh, slicer software. I've got it set at 0.95 in the slicers. It's 95%. Now I'm taking down 92 on here and that's um, giving it slightly more improvement. So it may just be that the flow rate calibration on this particular Ender 3 is slightly wrong. So what it thinks it's outputting is actually a bit more a bit less than it was what's actually outputting. It's got soldable jars, tiny little jars and making it older for it. Nice and easy. Yes, I hope you found that useful. Um, maybe it'll help you, maybe it won't. Anyway, if you like this kind of video, make sure you subscribe and um, click the bell icon to get notifications. You'll see more on my future videos. I do various things like 3D printing, obviously this one, but I do most electronic stuff. So if you're interested in that, then uh, certainly do subscribe and uh, I do 3D printing videos from time to time.